Hello there. I'm here with Miss Rosalie Sue. She is Kira by Nikki Johnson, and she was painted by the wonderfully talented Wendy at Weeby Dolls. She's wearing this gorgeous little Christmas dress with Christmas bloomers. The Christmas dress has three layers of see-through sparkly bright red tulle. It's got a silver waistband with loads of different colored silk presents with bows and rhinestones. And the top is red with white polka dots and the sleeves have ruffles. And to top off her very red little hair, she's got a gorgeous um, little headband that has um, it's a brown bow with two white antlers and a, a red bell in the center that uh, I got from, let me show you because it's my favorite headband place. Uh, here's the head, uh, Auntie Bobby and here's the ST Link. And these are going to be for the night before Christmas. For my other girls. Anyway, I'm doing the Reborn Doll Collective topic. Um, she's a wonderful channel. Definitely go check her out. Her babies are gorgeous. She always does wonderful topics. Um, and uh, she has an Instagram and a selling page, which you'll definitely want to check out because she sells amazing clothes. Um, so this is the Reborn Doll Collective topic. And the question is, is it unethical to sell a doll for more than you paid? Unethical means wrong, deceitful, um immoral and I do charge extra for my perfect condition dolls or new dolls and I don't feel bad or wrong in doing so because I put time and money into selling therefore I don't feel it's unfair example of extra money that goes in when you're selling is eBay fees PayPal fees, shipping fees, extra goodies, or sometimes you're going to need to put new goodies, a whole new box opening, new goodies, due to a gender change if the mom wants a different gender. Uh, new wrapping paper and bows and ties and cards. Extra pictures. You know, it takes a lot of time to set these up and take time out of your day and family to sit and take pictures and safety pictures and pose them like this. I want to see them in this color, so on and so forth. So extra pictures, uh, multiple posts. You know, sometimes they're you got them on the market for a while and you're you're constantly posting and um, it just takes a lot of time and. Uh, dealing with buyers that's a those are examples of time the time that is spent is extra pictures multiple posts dealing with buyers you know posting on ebay and everything but the money is ebay fees paypal fees shipping fees extra goodies or new ones due to a gender change new wrapping ties cards you know all that and you never know i may be behind the scenes and may be working with a buyer on a lower offer than posted. You know, sometimes layaways and um, working with their budget, you know, a lot of times that's put in. Um, and so, no, I don't think it's unfair. I think um, as much as the artist puts in a lot of work, we do too when we turn around and sell. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that everybody does. Um, I have lost lots of money in the past and tend to charge a little extra to prevent that so let's say um, this is not what I got the doll for let's say 
I well let's say let's say I spent six fifty on this stall. I'm gonna charge seven hundred to cover all the new box, all the new wrappings, uh a gender change, um, new cards, uh, cause I send my babies home with nice box openings. Um priority shipping fees, PayPal fees or eBay fees. You know, it just covers all of that plus gives me just a itty bitty profit. And um also, if I'm not sure about selling a doll and letting them go, then I will list it as a price that I would be willing to sell it for. And if it goes, it goes. Sometimes, like American Pickers, you know the show American Pickers, you may find a doll that is worth more than what you paid and see a profit to be made on the reborn market. So sometimes you can find a boo-boo baby and fix it up to make a profit, such as buy a baby for, uh, buy a sold-out sculpt that maybe has a problem like its eyelashes came off. So you replace the eyelashes and uh, give it a new matte varnish, send it to an artist, maybe get a doll rooted or anything, and then sell it to make a profit. Um, profits help your collection grow. It helps with your giveaways. It helps ultimately with your family and uh, bringing in new dolls uh, now I would not charge for missing paperwork if the doll had missing paperwork if it was a small box opening any flaws you know you wouldn't seek out a profit into that but um, Uh, I don't feel wrong in doing so because personally, now I think it's wrong if I were to buy this stall at six fifty, sell it for seven hundred, and it come with nothing in its box, no paperwork, nothing like that. I didn't give you safety pictures or extra pictures or anything, and I charged you more than what I paid. And didn't give you near what I got when I received the doll. Now, I wouldn't do that. I think that's unfair. But a lot of the times, artists don't send. Wendy does an amazing box opening. But I know some sort of artists just send with a few outfits, a blanket, the paperwork, and a diaper. And what the baby's dressed in. Whereas, you, I want to add a few more outfits. And... A nice wardrobe for it to come home in and and make sure it has at least two passies and you know sometimes like that and so um, especially if the kits long sold out and you can't find it anywhere there's a profit to be made and I don't think it's unfair to charge that if I mean here's an example if you got a beautiful Maisie by Andrea Arcello for 400 which you wouldn't uh, an amazing prototype quality you could definitely make a profit off of that and why wouldn't you why wouldn't you turn around and do that just because that one person doesn't know what it has I don't know I just don't think it's I think there are certain cases it is immoral if the doll has flaws if she had a big old mark on her face and I was still selling her for more than what I paid then I think that's unethical if there's any flaws but if they're in perfect condition and coming home with more or the same than they that they received and you're getting your shipping uh it's shipping fees ebay fees paypal fees the time and energy to post her all the time trying to get her new mommy you know i don't know and sometimes if you're not sure about selling a doll, you just list them at a price that you would be willing to sell for. So, I uh, know, my answer is no, but in some cases, I think some people can be immoral about it. But, uh, I really enjoyed this topic. Thank you so much to, uh, Reborn, the Reborn Doll Collective, and, uh, I hope she gets to watch this and see my opinion. 
I really enjoy her videos and go check her out. She's wonderful. She's just wonderful. Anyway, uh, I'll let you all go. And uh, remember to choose kindness and be patient with people. And rem remember that it's the holidays and people are rushing around and sometimes can be unkind. But deep down, I don't think there's too many bad people in this community. And um, just everybody has their own thing going on behind the scenes. You never know. So... Anyway, we love you, and we're going to give you a big old kiss. Mwah! And she's going to wave. Yeah. She's going to have a real good snooze. Aren't you, sweetheart? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in this doll, please get in touch with me. I am going back and forth on whether or not I want to sell, because she's just that cute. She's beautiful. Anyway, um, talk to you all later. Bye.